I feel anxious, man. I feel, you know, it's been a long time coming since I felt, you know, truly 100%, truly, like, back to form. I'm just excited to go out there and play, man. At this point, um, you know, you cherish these moments to just go out there and put the cleats back on and, and play some football. Man. Year seven, I feel like, you know, I feel like the OG of the team a little bit, but I still feel young. I got a young heart, so. Uh, plus, my teammates keep me young. My receiving core keeps me super young. Um, so, yeah, man, year seven, hopefully many, many more to come. So, fourth and goal at the three. Manning out of a shotgun set. Two receivers right, one left. Manning back to throw. He throws one right corner for Cruz. He can't make the catch incomplete. Victor Cruz went down in a heap. He cannot even get up. Cruz is still down. They bring the card out. They're going to try to get him to his feet. Twisted the right knee. The ball was there. Boykin never got a hand on it, but Cruz with Coughlin right there. Cruz, the knee starting to buckle. He'll get a ride back to the locker room. And so for the Giants, uh, about as bad as it gets right now. Let's go to Michelle. Well, I can't remember the last time I've covered an injury where I heard so much screaming in pain and agony, Al. Not just when Cruz was on the ground and the medical staff was attending to him. When they picked him up to put him on that cart, it was though as though the pain were just coming back and resurging. He is sobbing, as you can see. He's been sobbing basically since he went down, knowing this is probably, probably quite serious, Al. Victor is certainly uh, extremely popular and you know, as a captain of the team, a, 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 has a huge uh, the respect that our players have for him is 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 tremendous. And when uh, when something like that happens, uh, everyone is grieved. You know, everyone feels badly for him, even the players on the other team. Victor's devastating injury only served to make him work harder to get back onto the field in 2015. But fate would serve another crushing blow with Cruz suffering a calf injury on his road to recovery. Just things that happen out here, just a little, you know, uh, mixed with dehydration, a little tweak running around, routes and stuff like that. It's just kind of one of those things that happen through the course of practice. They didn't give me a timetable, but I know how it feels for me right now than it did when it first happened. And it, uh, it feels light years better than it did then. So hopefully, um, hopefully, I doubt Coach will let me play this weekend, but we'll see. You don't think that this latest injury of Victor Cruz just threatens his debut this weekend. You think it might threaten his season. And not just the season. I think it could possibly threaten his career. Physically, you're going to return back to form. That's the easy part. But then it's the mental part. Forget the physical aspect. Do you feel with all the frustration, you're kind of being tested mentally? Yeah, I think uh, God is testing me to see, you know, just how much I can take, just how much I'm willing to, uh, you know, put this game on the line for for uh, for my own sake and see how much I can deal with and see how much I can handle mentally. So um, I'm just being calm, being reserved, and, and, and coming through with that challenge and trying to tackle everything as they come. However, this injury also required surgery, and Victor was forced to shut down for the 2015 season. Very disappointing, and, and I feel very badly for, for Victor in terms of uh, this one issue, uh, obviously most difficult to get over the hump with, and, uh, you know, he's going to have to get this taken care of and uh, and hopefully uh, it will solve the issue and, and we can uh, he can move forward and, and so can we down but not out Victor returned to the gym with even more determination willing himself back onto the field in 2016 this time man is real it feels as real as it's ever felt um, about to go in here just put my best foot forward, man. Just vibe with my teammates, feed off of their energy, feed off of the fans that are here, that come to see us week in and week out, day in and day out, and, um, and just do the best that I possibly can. That's the only thing I can do. That's the only thing I got control over is myself, and I'm excited for the next chapter of my journey, man, and it starts today. I'm excited for day one. Um, I'm excited for my teammates. I'm excited to see the guys. You know, you. You go through six weeks and not seeing them, you'd be surprised how much, you know, you guys miss each other when you see each other again. You start telling each other stories. And um, because we're a family, you know, so I'm 
excited just to be around the guys again. Yeah, I know last year was frustrating for him, so uh, glad to have him back. Great leader, uh, a veteran guy, knows what he's doing, and so to have him uh, back in the mix uh, and, and you know hopefully have him this whole season would be nice. I remember when I was out um, last year and, and me going up to him being like, you know, watch me when I'm running my routes, just check me out, and um, it kind of be in the reverse right now. Uh, it's just great for me to be able to, to sit down and watch how far along he's came after um, such a devastating injury. I truly feel like training camp is where you build that core of what your team will be, of what you expect out of each teammate, what the, what the roles are. That, that's where those things are formed. And me being the leader, I got to make sure that that happens. I got to make sure that we're going in that direction, that we're following each other's lead and that we're following you know, the template for success. And because we've been there before, guys like myself, JPP, Eli, of course, we've been to that pinnacle. So we got to make sure that we're getting the best out of our teammates and the best out of, out of ourselves as well. I'm excited for that, man. I'm excited just, you know, to go out there and play and, and, and feel like an athlete again and run around like I used to. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for taking that ride to work with me. Now it's time to go. Must be day one. Look at all these cameras out here. Sheesh. What's up, man? How you feeling, man? I'm feeling well. I'm feeling well. Day one was pretty good. Just to knock the rust off a little bit and run some routes and things like that. So it felt pretty good. I was just happy to be out here with the guys, running around, doing some drills. I was doing some tackling drills for the first time in a long time. So that was that was fun. Obviously, the true test is when we get some defense out there and we get to do something against them, which obviously comes tomorrow. But I feel pretty good. I feel confident on my routes. It, you know, I hope it looked that way. Um, out there, but it definitely felt that way, so uh, I'm happy about that. After a successful return, Cruz suited up for warm-ups in Buffalo, but didn't make it into the game. He made his debut back into the lineup in the third preseason game against the Jets. Starting offense remains in there for Big Blue, and it's Manning working out of the gun. Throws it, handled by Victor Cruz, and the reaction from the crowd what a great story for Cruz to make it back to the field. Knee injury, calf injury, groin injury in training camp this year. Had not played in a game since October of 2014. This is what this place looks like. It's been a while. Um, it felt good. It felt good to, uh, you know, put that jersey on again and go out there with my teammates and, you know, from the warm-up, the pregame, and then during the game to, you know, be in a position to make a play. And that ball felt like it was forever in the air until it got to my hands, but it was good to kind of catch that ball and you know get a little contact, get a little hit out of bounds, and, and uh, hopefully I can build on that. And continuing to understand what we want to accomplish as a team and as a game plan and from a receiving core, and then uh, I think I can go out there September 11th and, and, and be okay. <laughs> Yo, it's week three, Victor Cruz here. Time to take on those skins. Take a ride with me. Washington Redskins, they're coming into our house. Um, this is what we want, another division game. They're coming in ready to play. We're excited for the challenge, as, as we know. It's building that chemistry with Eli. We do a good job of being on the same page. We understand exactly what's coming. We understand exactly uh, the type of defense that they're going to play against us. And we got a good game plan. You know, thanks to the coaching staff, they put a great game plan together for us to be successful. And, uh, and I think that's what puts us over the edge. But, you know, game in and game out against those Redskins, man, Eli and myself, we, we do pretty well. Manning back to throw. Steps up, deep ball down the middle of the field. He's got Cruz. 35, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Giants! 73 yards. Salsa time at MetLife Stadium. And that could be Boomtown for these Redskins. For my first game back after 700 days, it's been well documented. Um, for, for that to be my first one back in, in, in Jerry World, it was. It was a huge deal. Man, it's been so long. 
I forgot what these pads feel like. I forgot what Jerry World looks like. But I'm about to get real acquainted real soon. First game back to get in the end zone uh, to pretty much seal the game and win it for us, man. It was, it's just a dream come true. Pass is caught for the touchdown. Time to Salsa. Victor Cruz. Welcome back. That moment of glory coming back and, and being at the top again, and it was a, it was a great feeling. to come back and, and come up with that big catch that was, you know, I'm still, I still watch the replay to see how I did it, because I'm like, man, I don't know how I caught this thing. Manning calls out signals, takes the snap, he's back to throw, has time, now throws a deep ball down the right sideline, and the pass is caught down the right sideline by Cruz, what a catch, he took it away from the defender at the one, and he's down there. They're staying aggressive, Bob, and I like it. Holy cow, Victor That's Cruz fighting for it there. took it right away from Trolley. It looked like Trolley had it intercepted, and Cruz stole it and then secured it at the one gain of 35. I was happy to come down with the football, and I was happy to make the decisive play to get Josh Brown in there nice and close so he can get a chip shot to win the game for us. Um, that, that's what it's all about. He's back! That's what I'm talking about. Yes. 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 This man right here? That man right there. Believe in this man. New York Giants football is on the air from MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. The New York football Giants off to a 2-0 start, take on the 0-2 Washington Redskins. Good afternoon, everybody. So glad you could join us. Jersey, stand up. We in the building. And hey, we got a little buzz out there. They starting to talk about us. Y'all know why? Because we were playing that So You know how we keep that buzz out there? Play some sister. So let's go out here and wet. So Y'all know what time it is, wet. man. I say, see ball, get ball. 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 Game day. Sunday the best day. What a blessing to be out here today. I'll tell you that much. Great day for some football. Great day for some football, baby. What he said. What a beautiful day to be alive, ladies and gentlemen. We come to you live from MetLife Stadium, the home of the Giants, the way God created it. It's about that time. What? 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 Who? Who? What? 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 Who? Who? What? Who? Who? Let's go. Here we go. Here we go, Giants on three. One, two, three, guys. Yes, sir. 53 yards of punt to his first seven this year. Toppling kick, middle of the field. It bounces at the 30, kicks to the right, and... The ball might have been hit by a Washington player, and there's a mad scramble for it. The Giants, did they get on it? It's Giant football. Yeah, yeah. Right here. You hit it, you hit yeah, it. and I hit it to our teammate. Who was that? Uh, Dwayne. Danell in motion to the right. One back set is Vereen. Two receivers left. Manning handoff Vereen. Powers off the right side. In for the Giant. Touchdown. Stand it up. Oh, I told you. I told you. You called it! You called it! You called it! I have my choice. Yeah, I could have straight back or right. I they ended up putting the double on Beckham. That's why you had a clean box. Okay, cool. Are you down on the goal line? What's that? Down there on the goal line? Yeah, what they did is they leaned over. That's what they've been doing. They've been leaning a lot to him. So once they do that, then they can't, they can, they can't play a load of box. Manning calls out the protection. Takes the snap. He's back to throw. He looks, throws one to Shepard to the end zone. Touchdown, Giants on the post. 
23 yards. Well, Carl, he had him on the last play, chose to go to Beckham, and Shepard ran right up the seam to the post, and Manning put it right over the defense. up, throws one left, pass is caught by Cruz line. at the 37-yard yeah. line for a first yeah. down. Manning calls signals, takes the snap, handoff Darkway, he runs left, into the end zone, touchdown Giants. Power football there, as Danell and Richburg hug each other for making good blocks, Orleans Darkway in for the score. Cousins takes a shotgun snap, drops back, has time, heaves a deep ball down the middle of the field, intended for Jackson, and it is caught for the touchdown. What a catch by Deshaun Jackson, 44 yards. I would rather you give up that sale cut and be back here and stay on him because it's number 11. You see what I'm saying? They jammed him up so bad. No, see, those guys are so far apart, that's 12, 14 yards. Stay high with DRC on that. Go get you an interception. That, you hear what I'm saying to him? That guy gets jammed up like that guy's, hey, let's take care of the alligator. You know, mosquitoes and alligators. That freaking guy jammed up is a mosquito. Number 11 is the alligator. That's it. No more. No more on him. Third and goal at the four. Calls out his signals. He takes the snap. He's back to throw. He looks. He's under pressure. Now he's going to scramble to his left, and he's going to get sacked at the 10-yard line. And the time is going to expire in the half. Receivers near side left, one right. Cousins, a wide receiver screen to Crowder. He gets a block. Crowder runs right through the defense. He's to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Redskins. Let's get back on our toes and stay in. Right? Put the pressure on them. All right? Attack at all times. Get in. Hey, it's about how we respond. That's it. That's it. Hey, it's about how we respond. We good, fellas. We good. That's it. That's it. Stay positive. Stay positive. Left one to the near side right. Manning back to throw. He's looking right for Cruz. Cruz makes the catch, runs out of a tackle at midfield, down the right sideline, and finally bumped out of bounds at the Redskins' 38-yard line. It's a 37-yard pass play to Cruz, his second catch of the day. He's to the right of Manning. Manning takes the snap, blitzes on. Manning to the middle, and the pass is intercepted, intercepted by Dunbar, intended for Ty. Keep playing. Keep playing. Play defense. Put the pedal to the metal the rest of the game. It ain't going to be your, it ain't rocket science right now. All right, line up and play. We know what they're doing. They know what we're doing, all right? But we can't beat ourselves, all right? We're stopping, we stopping our damn self, man. That's what's so frustrating, bro. That's frustrating. Man. They're not doing nothing to stop us. We can hurt ourselves. Read in motion left. Cousins hands it off for Jones. Hit and stop short of the first down. So now the Giants will call a timeout. He lost a couple of yards with 155 to go. That boy's gonna take it home for us. Get water, water, water. Go we'll take it home. This is what we live for. 
Manning takes the shotgun snap, climbs the pocket, throws it over the middle, completes it over the middle for a first down to Victor Cruz, tackled at the 39-yard line. Ah! Giants trail 29-27. Shepard and Beckham together. Manning back to throw. Climbs the pocket, and his pass is intercepted as he threw it over the middle. It was picked off by Sua Cravens, who made a diving interception. Intended for Vereen, Manning's second interception of the ball game. Good job, Good job. See you soon, man. Thank you. Thank you. Good way to play, man. Good job. I keep studying you, man. Thanks for setting the example. Good man. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Uh, obviously a tough loss. Obviously a, uh, a game that we, you know, felt like we should have had. I felt like we were in a position to have, and, and we didn't come up. So, uh, you know, this is what it is. Got a couple of days off, get back to the drawing board, and, and get ready for our next opponent.